the other specific name we were talking about Jose Felix Diaz and me it was Eden Hazard I mean I asked him about the Belgium player for the only reason that right after the penalty missed by Eden Hazard I don't know how is he feeling right now I mean what is the um, sensations what are the feelings of the Belgium player within Real Madrid considering he was um, trying to um, he was trying to encourage the fans last summer when we won the Champions League. He he tried to, um, I think it was for himself, trying to encourage the people to believe in him. Just because he was willing to give everything he got. He was willing to um, improve his numbers in Real Madrid. He was willing to do uh, all the things that he hasn't done uh, so far in Real Madrid. But now that he is not having the minutes expected he's not i mean he's missing a penalty he is not in my opinion having the chance that he thought he was going to have now what is next what is going to happen to him i mean is he feeling the same way is he feeling a different way what is going on with the dentist well Jose Feliz Dia told me uh yeah talk is cheap right and when he showed up in front of the people in front of, of the whole crowd and said yeah i'm gonna give you everything i'm gonna give everything i'm gonna i'm gonna put everything on the field and, and stuff like that that is cheap but the situation the reality it is a completely different one right the reality is carl ancelotti have has better players ahead of him and he might be even underneath marco asensio that is what he told me what uh, jose felix they told me so there's no reason for me or for any other Madridista to believe that Eden Hazard will try to reverse the situation because it is really, really difficult. So for him, Eden Hazard has no chance in Real Madrid.